guys, Jim here from Main and Sons and Such and Be Scented. Oopsies. Um, in here is my oils, and you can see some stuff floating on top. That is um, my cream and my some of my clays that have floated on top without being mixed in. I am making a moonshine soap and people have always asked how I do that so guess what I'm going to show you. Let me go get my moonshine I forgot it. Okay I'm back. Let's get this bad boy open. I've not even opened it. So here is the moonshine from the company uh, locally where I work. It's called Virginia Sweetwater. Um, this is corn whiskey and uh, moonshine and they, it's the back label. And um, I make you know, soaps specifically for them uh, for their store and they sell really well. So they've ordered three loaves and I need to measure out my moonshine for it. So we're going to do in this big batch about two ounces. Now this much alcohol will cause it to set up like soap on a stick. There we go. And when I mean soap on a stick, I mean soap on a stick. So, to prevent that and keep that from happening, what I need to do is get my soap, put all of my lye in here, um, my fragrance, separate it off, add my colors. I will hand stir in the moonshine in the color portions and then pour it quickly in the mold. That's the trick. And I'm telling you this is stuff that first time I did it it was hilarious. I didn't know what I was doing and <laughs> it was quite funny. So this one is um, they have several flavors of moonshine and they have a berry moonshine. So this is sweet berry licious. Now for this reason we need to keep this soap at a thin trace. So that's all of the stick blending of that I'm going to do for the moment. Let me grab my container here. Most of this is going to be a deep purple and then we're going to have a bright purple. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll have to stick blend these in. I'll hand stir the fragrance and the moonshine in. And I'm a bit unorganized. So I apologize for that. So this is a dark purple, deep purple. And this is a bright purple. We'll put in this one. We'll stick blend those. Start with the bright one, obviously. Is Marshall dancing? Yeah. Is he doing the putt putt boogie? No. What's he doing? Singing and singing. Oh. Okay, I think I'm going to add another purple to the brighten that a little bit. Uh -huh. 
that's a really dark color. See if we can't get a more vibrant, uh, better tone. color. So, put that in there. Now, with moonshine uh, soaps, the moonshine of course is added as an additive, not part of the water mixture. Um, I do discount the water to, you know, take place of the moonshine, but it's not like I make the lye water out of it, etc. I did that once. Or I did, um, I think I did a one-to-one -one water and lye, and the moon, it was, it was disastrous. That was before I ever made videos. It was not good. Trust me. Y'all would have laughed at me. Because I think the very first video I recorded was um, me cutting moonshine soap. And the uh, moonshine, the pieces in it was of the soap that was riced. Because, and it, you know, it just immediately set up in the bowl hard as a brick. And what I did is just let it set up. I chunked it out of the mold. I run it through a cheese grater. And that was that. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for the moonshine. But you got to have the mold ready. Okay? Here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to pour, before I mix this one, I'm going to get this one mixed, pour it all in the mold, and I'll do a drop swirl. If it drops in. I can feel it thickening up. So. Mommy. What, Noah? Let's hurry, hurry, hurry. Mix, mix, mix. Pour, pour, pour. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Snack, snack. That's right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Stir, snack. stir, stir. Snack, snack, snack. He say, watch out. The legs are down now. See that? Mm-hmm. And that, my friends, is how I make soap that has yeah. moonshine in it. I've had lots of people ask me how I did this. So I figured out, do some videos. I haven't made any videos in a while, so. Gotta keep it at a thin trace. And pour, pour, pour. I like it for you. Huh? That's looking at you. Alright, let me grab a little skewer and we'll do the top. <clears throat> and put some glue around. Before it gets set up too much. I mean, as you can see, it's setting up extremely fast. Because you guys seen how thin it was.
All right, guys. I'll bring you back for the cuttings. Jen back. I am here to cut um, the moonshine soaps. This one I'm doing first is the berry scent. Sorry, adjusting the camera. Oh, no. Why am I not getting this right? It's just weird. Okay, anyways, here it is. So, let's get us an end piece cut off. See how it turns out. These soaps are actually two days old. Not because, you know, it was soft or anything, but because I was so busy that I didn't have time to cut it. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, smells good too. I just didn't have time. I just don't like the angle of my camera today for some reason. Just not liking it. You guys see okay? Just feel like you can't see. Is that better? I think so. Beautiful. I think I cut that bar a little thick. Oh well. So I'm gearing up for my holiday listing this Friday. Um, oh, I'm so busy. I'm wrapping the bath bomb cupcakes that are going in the gift boxes. Um, if any of you guys are planning on purchasing, please stay tuned in my group where I where I post my stuff for sale that I sell because I think the 36 gift boxes that I have are going to go pretty fast. If they do, um, I'll look into seeing if I can do another holiday listing. Um, you know, maybe the first or second week in December, you know, like for last minute some things, you know, for those that if they do miss the gift boxes, because I have a ton of interest on these things. So, and I want everybody to be able to get something. I'm very pleased with how these soaps turned out. Yesterday I wrapped about 200 bars of soap, um, labeled about 50 candles because I am having candles on this listing. Um, right now and I only have like the smaller size candles which are good for gift giving. Um, the six ounce candles that are in a eight ounce tin. Um, I'll do a little short video of those for you guys. And I'll have um, the gift boxes, some new soaps, some new lip balms, um, the bath bomb cupcakes. Um, oh, hello, Betsy. I have to try to fix that. I don't know if I can. No, how the plane it? Kind of got a bobble right there. But I have a ton to do still. Um, like yesterday, I wrapped. Uh, let's see. All 200 bars of soap. I have 70 bath bomb cupcakes that go in a bag. 
and to get like the little twist tie to tie them shut. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, they get, uh, I, I hand make little bows and I'll have to hot glue all of the little bows on there. And all of my lip balms need shrink wrapped. There's 150 uh, lip balms that need shrink wrapped. Uh, they're all already labeled, so thank goodness for that. And then I have to put together the 36 gift boxes. So you guys stay tuned. Um, I'm going to do a little short video of the gift boxes. So thank y'all for watching. We'll catch y'all in my next video.